Hey there, Min here. Guess what? I just hit 200 subscribers on my YouTube channel. So in celebration, I want to share something that keeps track of my subscriber count. This little thing is a YouTube counter um, that I made that will grab live YouTube counter feeds. Anyway, I'll show you how to make this really, really simple. So let's get started. Okay, to get started, you need a few key components. The first, of course, is the LCD screen. This LCD screen is a 16 by 2 LCD screen with a uh, I2C or I2C chip uh, board on the back of it. What it does is instead of using all these pins to light up the 16 characters in the front and the two lines, it uses only two pins and then the voltage and ground. Um, you don't really need to worry about that, just make sure you buy the right one. The next thing you need, of course, is a microcontroller. So back in the day when I was in college, it wasn't this simple. There's much, much more component level things you need to do. But for today, we get one of these microcontrollers. It's called Node MCU. It's a ESP66 based uh, Wi-Fi supported uh, microcontroller. So there's a bunch of pins here, and we're only going to use four of the pins on this on these little critters' legs here. And of course, we need a little tiny breadboard to put this on, and we need some wires. Now, we don't really need uh, the breadboard. We can actually just plug the wires in directly to these four pins into here, but um, to make it cleaner, to make it easier, and to do that. And finally, we need a power supply. If you use a battery pack or a, of course, a USB cable with a USB, uh, micro USB on there and supporting to however to do to power, power the microcontroller here. And finally, you need a computer to program this, uh, but the, the actual physical hooking up of it is so simple. No soldering, nothing. Everything is just done right here. So I'll show you right now, and then we'll go to the computer and do the programming portion of it, which is also really, really simple. Okay. Okay, so first, let's put things together physically. I have a Node MCU and a tiny breadboard that I will just simply plug in and line the pins up and push. Okay, so we line the pins up and push. So next, we need to connect the wire to the LCD panels. There's four pins here, and we'll just simply connect it on to those pins. So the four pins are uh, voltage, ground, SCL, SCA. Uh, SCL stands for serial clock, SCA stands for serial data. And so the top two are ground and VCC, so that's the voltage. And the, so in this particular case is gray and blue. So. Okay, so gray and blue goes to ground and uh, V in on the pin. So this will be the first two pins there. Make sure you connect the right ones. So the blue should go to VCC and then the ground goes to the one next to it. The side. Okay. So the other two pens goes to serial clock and serial data, which is on on the LCD panel on the back. The top one is serial data, the bottom one is serial clock. And it is the the bottom one is serial clock needs to go to D1. So D1 is over here. And and then the other one of course goes to D2 as serial data. Alright. So now we're done. The um, only thing we need to do now is just plug into the computer 
load up your Ad Adreno IDE. Make sure your Adreno IDE is, um, has this Node MCU card uh, board already in there, and then just just download the uh, the sketch that I have attached uh, down below. Uh, so all the parts and all the components are also listed down below, so you can get your own and build it yourself. Um, there are a few few additional things that you will need to set up while we're in there. Is um, your API access for Google YouTube. So YouTube API access. So you need to set that up. Now I'll, I won't do a video on that, but I will provide a few other video links that you can go through to other people already did it. But if there are interest and additional questions about it, feel free to reach out to me and I will do a video, additional video on that. Okay, let's go to the computer. So to program your microcontroller on the computer is pretty simple. The only thing you need to do is make sure you install the Arduino IDE and then go into the file, uh, the sketch file that I have attached in the description below or in the web link website of my website. Download that sketch file and open it. Open it, it will launch an Arduino IDE and we need to add and change a few things. First, we need to make sure the prefer under preference, the additional board manager is there so we can actually add the ESP8266 card, um, 8266 microcontroller. So once it's added, we can then go to tools and go to board and go to board manager and look for ESP8266. ESP. Okay. And then we just had need to install the ES2, ESP8266 uh, microcontroller card. And once it's there, we need to make sure we select the right board. And by going to node MCU 1.0, that's the one that I'm working with. Okay. Once we do that, we want to make sure those particular libraries are installed, or else when you compile it, you have missing library links. So we want to make sure the standard libraries are there, and we're using the LiquidQuisto um, I2C libraries. We also want to see additional libraries, the YouTube API, .h, the YouTube API library, that's where we're going to pull the information from, from YouTube. And we also want to use the, uh, the JSON, the Arduino JSON library to parse that information. And finally, we need to update the information about your SSIDs, your Wi-Fi, so the uh, Node MCU can access the ESP8266 can actually access your Wi-Fi to access the internet and we need to make sure you have a Google API set up. Now all those are the Google APIs and the additional JSON information. I will have additional links below to other videos that will show you how to do this thing so I will just kind of jump past this portion. But if you have any additional questions we want to go into specifics please leave me messages and I may have created additional videos to show you how to do these things. Okay, once you do that, the descriptions on the uh, next is basically these are special characters that show that defines the YouTube icon that I created. Um, it's basically copying some other ones I see, but it's very typical. And then we have the serial, that's basically serial rate and make sure we have, we're using a, a 115200 for um, for our serial rate, baud rate. So when we do the, um, we can look at the serial interfaces to see what's printed out. We can see it at this particular rate. Uh, make sure that's set up right. So you, uh, the YouTube uh, sub count is what I, is the variable we defined. And all these are printed in serial interfaces, but the main loop is simply grabbing that status count. They're actually grabbing the status, the view counts, video count, and also subscriber count. The only thing we really care about is just the subscriber count, and that's where we assign the subscriber count to the YTS uh, YT sub count uh, variable. Then we uh, basically print out the logo, and then we jump down to the line. Uh, now mine just says mins YT, and then the next second line says subs, and then it adds the subscriber count. So it's that simple. Now once it's all done, um, you plug in the only thing we need to do is plug in our um, our 
ESP8266 or the uh, Node MCU and we go to click on compile, verify, and then we can upload. Okay, first, let's go up to the top and click on upload on the arrow. And also, let's verify that we don't have anything on the LCD, which is true. And once we click on the upload, the Arduino IDE will start to compile the code and upload it to the Node MCU. And once it's finished uploading, we can then go to the up on top and pull down and go to the serial monitor and see what the serial output is going to be. Right now, it's not showing anything. Uh, we can tap on it, it shows some garbage. Uh, but if we click on the RTS reset, it will start popping up and seeing that there's the Wi-Fi IP address and we can see the subscriber count there. If we scroll, scroll down, go down to the uh, LCD and we see the same matching uh, subscriber count. So that's it. I hope that was helpful. If it is, give me a uh, thumbs up or subscribe and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.